going on guys welcome back to the channel so i had a couple of hiccups the plan was to use this lighter fluid and to use the Creighton and hopefully not to use the fire extinguisher but i was going to do some things that's the reason why this nice big area has been you know cleared out and stuff because we're going to do donuts with fire and everything. Well, we were going to shoot that video. See, it's it was ready to go. Freshly charged batteries. Everything was ready. We had brand new film. or uh, Plenty of space on the SD card. Plenty of battery in the camera. Dad and I wanted to do a video together. And that's what we were going to do. Well, the beginning of that film, which you guys will see once we release the video is a unboxing what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so i know why y'all are here because you already read the title so we got the Creighton, we got lighter fluid and then we got safety control because you got to be safe right so Creighton, lighter fluid extinguisher but let's see here how should i do this should i just introduce it just be like hey well my dad's here with me today yeah so anyway, before we get started, I have a very special guest with me today. My pops is here with me. Unboxing of a armored vest, a tactical armored vest that dad bought. And I thought it'd be cool to unbox it. So we did unbox it. And then we were gonna play with the fire. Well, check this out, see this? This is the power button. So what I did is I picked up the controller Put the truck on the ground, use the lighter fluid, get everything ready. And I went to turn on the controller and that power button broke off. As soon as I touched it, it just, it just like went snap into the thing. And I was like, oh crap, are you serious? So that video got delayed. I couldn't, what am I supposed to do? I don't have another controller I can use. Well, that problem has been remedied. I went ahead and bought a, another controller and then I bought a whole nother system, which I'm just bought a spare controller just so I can shoot the video. After I shoot that video, then I'm gonna change it out with a whole nother system. You guys say you hate them, but you know what? We're gonna try them. We're gonna give them a shot. I'm gonna see if they're actually crap. I bought some very key components from GPM. All right, this is the steering. This is like the entire steering assembly, okay? These are the front and rear, uh, like they hold the arms on. You know what I'm talking about? The pins, the big giant pin that slides through the arm and it holds like the frame and all that crap together. Okay, well, those are very key parts. So we got those as well. Also, the spacers that go in between them, they're plastic. Now we got aluminum ones. These probably won't fail. I mean, it's pretty straightforward what these do. And then also we got the rear. This is like the rear assembly that holds the main center brace on, all right? So it slides down onto the gearbox and then that center brace lays down right in between there. But anyway, they are all GPM branded parts. So I want to give them a shot. People say they're bad, they're not good. Well, let's see. If they're not, if these parts are crap, then guess what? We'll take them off and we'll buy the other ones, right? Flu just came in the mail. Awesome, excited, good. I need this. Thumbs up to them. Um, Dad's computer broke, guys. D yep, Dad's computer broke. So I brought it out here to set up. This is my password reset key. Got my keyboard. Right, got the wireless thing. Just in case the internet for some odd reason doesn't work, I have a backup. Also, we have the GeForce GTX 1060 graphics card, and then dad's, dad's computer. Now, if you guys wanna see me build this computer, I did do the video of this, um, surprising dad with a computer or something like that. It's I made it last year. Um, but basically I built Pops um, a gaming computer. He basically just wanted something to check emails and uh, do a couple of things on it. And if he wanted to play a game or something, he would have the ability to play a game. And he does. There is an i5 
I think it's a seventh gen i5 in there. Um, you know, he has 16 gigs of RAM. You know, it's it's not a bad little boot. And he has, I put a new power supply in it for him. And he has a 1060. Uh, the only hiccup is, is he's running off of an old hard drive, which is something I wish to remedy. But I need to see what's wrong with it. He said that the password locked out on him. And then um, after trying to use the password reset key, the screen went black and something went wrong and he doesn't know what's up. So we're gonna set it up and try to fix this. 1060 out of the bag. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it's a nice Zotac card. Beautiful card. Head and plug in our computer, get some power to it. Uh, let's see here, is it on? Okay, it's on now. I'm gonna cycle it. Cycle it. Okay. All right. There it goes. Cycled. And then I'm gonna put the battery back in. Okay, battery's in. All right, we're gonna turn the power back on. Now what I need to do, install the graphics card. Okay, all right, I'm gonna turn it on and try to figure out what the heck is wrong with this thing. I'll pick y'all back up here in just a second. While that computer is booting, I wanna show you guys something, my idea. So the battery, you can use Velcro or whatever, but the battery will have a tendency to slide out like that, okay? I don't want that to happen no more. So what I thought about doing was taking standoffs like so, putting a hole right through the middle of the frame and putting these standoffs there. That and plus it will fit through the frame. It is like there's enough thread that pops out through the bottom of the frame where I can bolt it on. But my idea is to keep that there so that way when that battery slides back, it'll hit this. And if I'm running two batteries, these are stackable, so you could take two or three of these and screw them together like that to make tall ones. And you could probably take two or three of these and make them tall and that will hold both your batteries in and that will keep them from sliding out if you don't like the whole Velcro method. All right, so I turned on the system and originally it was beeping meaning that something it was detecting something wrong so i pulled the first stick of ram out okay and now i got a prompt to enter the bios i fixed it it's doing its downloads i guess the issue was was this stick of ram every time i put this back in the system it goes beep 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 and it won't boot Got it. And then I couldn't remember the password. So what I did is I went on my phone and I went into Marketplace. I bought this computer from a guy uh, back in August of last year. So I went back into Marketplace and tried to find that listing. And I did. And I pulled up the conversation between him and I. And in that conversation was the original password. And that's what we needed. We needed the original password, which is 8979. So that was the big issue. Um, the, the gentleman that originally built the system had it kind of locked like that. And we needed to get it unlocked. But the, the it was either that or I was gonna pull the drive out and put a whole nother drive in, reinstall Windows and give them a whole fresh PC. But we really didn't wanna go through that if we could just get the password. So we were going to try to use the password reset key, which I didn't need to use this time. And then on top of that, we were getting a hardware issue, which was the RAM. All that's fixed. The computer's doing its updates. Y'all have a good day. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for your understanding about the Creighton. I'm sorry, we are still planning on filming the fire. 
it's going to be cool we're going to turn the lights off we're going to have like purple and blue leds on the ground we're going to take lighter fluid make a big circle the truck's going to do donuts in the circle we're going to put lighter fluid on the tires and do burnouts put a big guzzle of it right in the middle like a campfire then the truck will do donuts over the fire it's going to be awesome man y'all going to love this make sure to subscribe y'all don't want to miss any of this y'all be cool